Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive, it changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. So it's down to business here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Thiago Silva. He's a player who doesn't seem to have any weaknesses at all, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's technically gifted and very comfortable in possession. What I particularly find impressive about him, though, is his consistency and his reliability. He just never seems to, to make a mistake. Opposition strikers could be in for a hard time of it today. Uh, the scourge of so many strikers. Jordan Henderson. And it's Henderson. Thiago. to win it back. Rudiger. I don't know what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. Alexander-Arnold. That's not the ball he wanted. Thiago. Dinks one in. Dangerous looking ball. It's come to nothing. Forward it goes. Raspilicueta. Still a possession, this, but very little to show for it. And here's Lukaku. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be outmuscled. Lukaku with a really impressive run, which nearly went the whole way. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. to do Thiago needed to come up with a better ball yeah the idea was right the delivery wasn't they can revisit that further on Rudiger tries to get it forward quickly as Piquetta drives it forward and no that is pretty much the end of that Thiago. He 
goalkeeper sees it all the way. Thiago. Thiago drives it forward. Cleared away. In comes the corner. Heads it! Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. to deliver plays it back and it's Thiago and the finish oh that was no routine save oh that's a sparkling save absolutely sparkling his reflexes were ultra sharp and it's half time here so both sides have drawn blanks they have toiled at times but it's not been a bad game by any means the midway point of the game. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at, at the very end. And I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in similar fashion, as we'd love to see this momentum maintained. So I'm looking forward to what's to come. Liverpool head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight cage again. Not the team any further forward than they were when they started out. And we're already into the second period. Liverpool clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Jota. Salah. Jota. And he's cut it out. I think that's a corner. Yes, it is. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, half-time has been a blessing for this team, you know, what a great start to the second half. Conte. It's exactly the start to this second half they would have hoped for. They can build on that morale boost and confidence and finish the contest by really taking the game to the opposition now. There's a long ball. Rudiger. about singling someone out well they've got to deny him time and space and, and that's one way of ensuring it it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing Christensen Conte and it's Chilwell oh, it has crossed the line and it's a free well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Hit long and 
direct. And that has been cleared. Thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Liverpool have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. Liverpool have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Cooks through there. Pulisic delivers. Hoists it forward. Alexander Arnold. Up for a throw. Liverpool making another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Pulisic. Mohamed Salah looking to run onto it. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? I have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Now it's Mohamed Salah. Rudiger. Christensen. Conte. Christensen. Drives it towards the front. Questions were asked. And he's given the answers. And here's Roberto Firmino. Ball through needs to be good here. And there goes the final whistle. Liverpool claim victory here. And on balance, they were worth it. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Of course, we all love to watch the creative side of the game, and goal scorer 